off of medications. That means by lifestyle and nutrition, dietary changes, exercise, and so forth, to help people take the medications they need, but take only the least amount that's necessary. Overdosing in medicine today is a big problem. And so that's why we're excited about Soul and what it's doing to help people. But as a medical doctor, it's incumbent upon me, it's necessary that I pay attention to the scientific literature. That is easier said than done. Because the scientific literature is extensive, it's always changing, it's hard to really take time away from patient care to be a real student. And so typically medical doctors rely upon other scientists to, to educate us. So I'm going to be introducing a scientist today, an electrical engineer who has become very interested in the role of essential oils. And he is the world authority on the oils which occur naturally, what are called the parent essential oils. And the reason I'm excited to introduce him is for the past 25 years, I, like most of your doctors, was recommending that you take fish oil. How many people take fish oil? Okay, what we'll find, I hope, is that you'll question that decision after Brian Peskin teaches you about the importance of not taking the fish oil, but taking the parent essential oils. Now, Brian Peskin is a scientist, and he lectures all over the world, by mainly to medical doctors. He is a teacher of medical doctors. And he is the one who is leading the revolution to champion you and I and the rest of the world consuming not fish oil, but seed oils. Now, soul is full of organic, non-GMO, raw, whole seed oils. And I'm very excited to introduce Brian Peskin. I hope your pencils are sharp and you're going to take some notes. I have a tremendous respect for this gentleman, so please welcome Brian Peskin. We need more cutting edge physicians with integrative medicine. So I'm going to talk today about the superiority of plant-based seed oils. First question everybody should ask is, I don't know what to believe. Coffee was bad, now it's good. Salt was bad, now it's good. Fats were bad, now they're good. Medicine goes in a big merry-go-round going nowhere every 20 years. They come back to the beginning. So you need science, not associations. You need cause, effect. And the typical study is you get up at six in the morning and the sun arises. So your association with the sun going up caused it. Well, being a scientist, I would do the experiment. I'd have you get up at six, you get up at seven, you get up at eight, you get up at nine, and lo and behold, the sun is up at six, regardless when anybody is up. So that's called an association that's wrong. So you need science, cause, effect, and I'm gonna give you a lot of science. Parent EFAs are called PEOs because they're essential. EFA stands for essential fatty acid. PEO stands for parent essential oil. I coined the term because so many people were using EFA incorrectly, referring it to what's called derivatives. Now, all you need to know about parent oils, there's two types, omega-3, omega-6, body can't make it. They have to come from food, okay? Have 100 trillion cells, 50% of every one of those 100 trillion is fat. It's called a bilipid membrane. Out of those fats, 25% to 33%, one quarter to a third consists of parent oils. It is the structure of every cell you have. Also, the mitochondria that makes your energy is full of parent omega-6, one of them, the parents. Fish oil is anti-anti-aging, and I'll prove that for you in a minute. It's unbelievable. So you take fish oil, ruins your mitochondria. EFAs, PEOs, the essential difference, parent essential oils are essential. Your body cannot make them. They're technically termed 
LA and ALA. What you need to know is fish oils components, DHA, EPA, are derivatives. That means they come from the parents. So if you have the parents, your body makes derivatives as needed. And what the entire medical field didn't know till recently, and most of the physicians still don't know it because they don't read these type of lipid journals, 99% of the parents stay as parents. They incorrectly thought that 99% would go to derivatives. So if I give your body derivatives, I'm making the work easy because I don't have to have the body convert the parents. They had it backwards. The parents stay as parents. So we have an overdose of fish oil today, unfortunately. So if you just remember one thing, 95 to 99% of the parent oils stay as parents in the cell. And all the references are on the bottom of these slides, so you can pull up any of them. What do PEO support? Appetite, heart health, beauty, anti-inflammation, almost everything. So you go, are they the fountain of youth? Well, they make the cell. So if I had 100 trillion cells deficient, would I expect a problem? And yesterday, the physician gave a lecture, it was very, very good, and had a question. We don't understand this. You can be overweight and not diabetic, or you can be diabetic and not overweight. Correlation is real good. It has everything to do with the cell membrane, because this is what I look at. I care about disease prevention, so all of my science is medical. The cell membrane allows that insulin and any hormone to go back and forth. So if you have a compromised cell membrane, oxygen's impaired, Every hormone's impaired, everything is impaired. The key is in the cell membrane. Newsflash, in 2008, they made a big improvement, big breakthrough, the parent omega-3, not the derivatives like fish oil, but the parent form, less heart disease. And what they did is this was a great experiment because they had different levels of fish oil. So they varied the parent omega-3 seed oil and they looked at different levels of fish oil, low, medium, and large. To give all the fish oil all day long, it did not help heart disease. Conclusion, parent omega-3 in the red confers important cardiovascular protection. Plant-based oil is real good. What is some of the things that it does? Anti-diabetes. They looked at people eating the oily fish that you're told to what America to eat. The good oily fish with the EPA, DHA, that was worse. Higher blood sugars, less insulin than the lean fish. Anti-aging, extends life. Reduce risk of cancer. I'll tell you about in a minute, 2013, men with the highest DHA, EPA levels, the most prostate cancer. Less cardiovascular disease, the reason it's clogged is because of oxidized para omega-6. So the key is bring in fresh, fully functional para omega-6 every day. Food processors never use omega-3 fats because they never cook with fish oil, they never cook with flax oil. The entire problem of why you have to take the unadulterated seed oils every day is because all the omega-6 oils are ruined. To get long shelf life, every food processor in the fast food restaurants, the fine dining restaurants, needs to have that oil last forever. So they use extenders, they stop the oxygenation so it never goes bad, and we die. <laughs> we really do. 2009. They finally said, we've been wrong, you need omega-6. They've gotten a bad reputation, tied to rachidonic acid, it's a detail. But the bottom line is, and this was their quote, not mine, I think they looked at my work because this is the kind of language I use, it reflects a naive understanding of biochemistry. The people that were telling you the omega-6 was bad because of the arachidonic acid have no understanding of biochemistry. In the red, parent omega-6, powerful anti-inflammatory properties that counteract any of the negative ones they say. They're not negative, they're systems. You need inflammation, you need anti-inflammation. If you had no inflammation, you'd be a worm because you'd have no blood pressure. Your blood pressure's 180 over 120 over 80. So if it was zero, you'd be a worm on the ground. So you need a system. 
and I do life systems engineering science. Here's a little chart, you can look at it at home real quick. Everybody says we get too much omega-6. No, we don't. You need lots of omega-6. We get too much of double graded omega-6. In the phospholipids, between the six and the three, 115 to one in the cholesterol ester, it's 100 to one, eight and a half to one in the plasma, and esterified in the triglycerides, 17 to one. I mean, it's all technical stuff, but we need a lot of omega-6 unadulterated parent form. When the PEOs become oxidized, oxygen transfer stops. That's any spot. So anybody has a lot of eight spots on their hand, that's oxidized lipids. So you put in the unoxidized ones, over time those will get lighter. But you can have oxidized tissues. And they did this with monkeys. They gave them fish oils and they got those eight spots in their liver. This was in 2010. Inside layer of the artery, picture a straw. Inside layer, it's all omega-6. It's called the intima. It's epithelial tissue. There's no fish oil. There's no omega-3 in there. So when they say fish oil helps heart disease, how? It can't. Again, the whole problem is in processed omega-6 oils. So the key is a supplement with more parent omega-6 than parent omega-3. Here's the pathways. This is technical stuff again. It's complicated or all the physicians would know this. It's called the cosinoids. What you need to know, two things. PGE1 is the body's number one anti-inflammatory. The most important anti-inflammatory comes from the omega-6 pathway, not the omega-3. Prostacyclin makes the platelets not stick to each other or not stick to the artery. Heart disease is gone. If you have prostacyclin, I don't know how you get a heart attack. If the platelets can't stick to the artery, can't stick together, you don't have a problem. This is the omega-6 side. The omega-3 side is very, very weak. So the focus has to be on the omega-6 side. PEOs are anti-aging. Did an experiment can measure arterial flexibility, like if your artery is like a balloon compared to a straw. If it's like a straw, that's called hardening of the arteries, major cause of heart disease, heart attack. Well, we look at people taking fish oil and then people taking the seed oils. People taking the fish oil, then stopping going to seed oils after just a few months, about four, 11 years younger cardiovascular wise just by stopping the fish oil and converting to the seed oils. So this is absolute clinical scientific proof. Fish oil ages you. Plant oils are anti-aging. Nobel Prize winner Arnold Warburg, MD, PhD, the greatest physiologist of the 20th century, conclusively showed cancer is caused by one thing, lack of cellular oxygen. What transfers the cellular oxygen? The cell membrane, the omega-6 in that cell membrane. So it has to be fully functional, unadulterated. If you're having cooking oil and baking in it, frying in it, using it for anything at the corner store, whatever the supermarkets here, you're gonna stop that. Cancer is through the roof in America. There's no end in sight. All the secondary causes of cancer tie back to the first one, asbestos smoking. They all irritate and whenever there's any irritation, there's inflammation. Like the doctor said yesterday, inflammation takes all your oxygen. So you have an oxygen deficiency. If it's extended period of time at 35%, this was absolutely proven, but they didn't know how to stop it back then. Today we do. And it's a medical journal article in 1976 where they showed enhance the supply of oxygen to the tissue you can get cancer in any cell that is oxygen deficient over an extended period of time, and it can be intermittent. So it can be okay oxygen now, deficient for a few hours, okay again. It can happen anywhere. There's only cancer. It doesn't matter where it is. It came from the same problem, adulterated fats in the cell membrane. These oils, plant-based oils, oxygen magnets. They allow transfer the oxygen from the bloodstream into the tissue. That cell membrane is critical to this. So the artery, the intima, the oxygenation, you have plant-based oils, especially the omega-6 side, maximum oxygen. So the big warning is 
in America and around the world because everybody follows America's lead. You are having highly processed foods and lack of fully functional omega-6 oils. So at least half of the omega-6 everybody's eating, unless they're eating 100% raw foods vegan diet, which is nearly nobody, half of what they're getting is screwed up. They better put it back in. You need a conservative amount of the omega-3 side because that is important, but not as important as the omega-6 side. So you need more parent omega-6 than omega-3. Has to be cold pressed, non-adulterated with more parent omega-6 than parent omega-3. And you have gone a long, long, long way to alleviating the majority of any health problem anybody's gonna have. So I hope that gives you a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of science here. And, uh, thank you for taking time left. Thank you very much.